What traditionally pops to mind when infrastructure is mentioned are bridges like the Brent Spence, roads, rail, and sewer systems, not preschools, community colleges, and child care. President Biden's proposal tonight re-envisions the term and reignites a political battle over priority spending. They're redefining infrastructure to mean social justice, child care, universal health care, the Green New Deal. Another view of infrastructure is whether or not we're going to take care of the human beings that are in these jobs that they can't make a living wage at. Community colleges like Cincinnati State are hoping an infusion of infrastructure funding means money towards its buildings and its four campuses. But our facilities are old and we need funds for deferred maintenance and also investment in instructional equipment. Universal Preschool for three and four year olds is part of the Biden administration's American Families Plan, a $200 billion investment. We are building out a system of high quality preschool. Councilman Greg Landsman was instrumental in making preschool promise a reality locally. And that is the kind of uh, infrastructure that makes a huge difference for children, families, uh, schools and neighborhoods. Among the central philosophical questions attendant to reshaping the thinking about infrastructure, can we afford to do it? Followed by can we afford not to do it? The people, you have to invest in the people that live there as well. And in year two of the pandemic, there is general agreement about the need to revitalize the economy, but there is a divide over how to do it and how to do it more equitably. Reporting live, John London, WRWT News 5.